Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited because July is here. This is my favorite month of the year and I have a new Club Quitabug free card kit to share with you today and I'm featuring the Varied Vases bundle. I love this bundle. Um, this was one of my must-haves from the new catalog. I think you guys are going to really enjoy the free project kit and when you get the bundle, you actually save 10%. You get the stamp set as well as the coordinating punch together when you purchase them in my online store. So let's go ahead and get started, take a look at the free card kit, and I'll give you all the details about Club Quidabug as we go. So in addition to using the Varied Vases bundle, I'm also using some Stampin' Up! colors here. So I've got Calypso Coral, Pacific Point, Melon Mambo, Night of Navy, and Coastal Cabana. And then remember, all you have to do to receive your free card kit in the mail from me is simply place a minimum $40 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. That's $40 before tax and shipping. And make sure that you use the host code that I've got right here on the screen. Using that code lets me know that you're wanting to receive this free card kit in the mail from me. Just don't use that code if your order is $150 or more because your order will qualify for Stampin' Rewards, but you will still receive this free card kit in the mail from me. So this kit is available for all orders placed from July 1st, 2018 through July 15th, 2018. So after July 15th, this kit is no longer available. So make sure you get your order in during that window of time. And the kits will be shipped on July the 16th, 2018. So let me just show you the three projects that we're going to make for this Varied Vases card kit. So this is project number one. I love this card. It's a nice, um, colorful card. And I've featured through the entire kit the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. And this is actually, this Designer Series paper is actually part of our buy three, get one free Designer Series paper sale going on right now. So if you love it, I would go ahead and pick it up while we've got that sale happening. So I love this paper. So this is card number one. I think it's so pretty. And I just love these vases and all the different flower selections that you have in the stamp set. I love it. And then this is card number two. I think this card turned out so fun. Love the colors on this card. And then here is our final card and this is actually a fun fold. This, I would consider this my first fun fold. I've never really done a fun fold card. So all you do is untie the ribbon closure and then you open it up and it's got um, this is called a gatefold opening. So all you would have to do is add in some cardstock in the center there to write your message. So I really, really love, um, really love how this card turned out. And then just remember when you get your free card kit in the mail from me, it will come with all of the consumable supplies that you need to create one of each of the three projects in this free card kit. And then there are also envelopes at the back as well as a full color PDF that has measurements, the supply list, and a full color picture of the completed projects. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with card number one. And you do have this little strip of rhinestones included in your kit, so just make sure that you save those. We're gonna use them on each of the cards. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start by doing some stamping on this piece of Whisper White. So I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat and a piece of scratch paper, and then I've got this die cut Whisper White circle here. And this um, foam mat is just gonna give me a little bit of a cushion when working with these photopolymer stamps. I'm going to start by stamping my flower in Melon Mambo ink. So I've got this flower image right here. I'm just going to go ahead and ink that up. It's going to be full strength Melon Mambo and I'm going to stamp this off to the left of my circle. So right about here. Okay, that looks good. Then I've got the filler image. This is a two-step stamp. So I've got the filler image. I'm gonna stamp that off in Melon Mambo. Actually, I'm gonna do that one more time. Look like that stamped a little weird. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to fill in, move this closer, fill in this image with this lighter shade of Melon Mambo. Right there should line up. So nice with photopolymer stamps, you can easily line up those two images. Then I've got my Pacific Point ink pad here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that hello. You can stamp whatever sentiment you would like. I'm going to stamp the hello. Just make sure I've got this straight how I want it. 
I'm gonna stamp that hello right about there. Okay, and then there is a piece of Pacific Point cardstock in the kit. I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, tall, thin vase here. And I'm gonna stamp this upside down because I want it to fit in my punch and be easy to punch out. So if you look at the punch, all of the images are upside down. So you want to, except for the flower here, but you wanna stamp upside down so that it's easy to punch out your vase. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch that vase out. Line this up. Okay. Oh, let me move it over just a little bit. Okay, and there we go. And then you've still got a little piece left you could do something with. And you've also got this little guy right here you could save and do something with. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling my card. So I've got a Whisper White Thick card base here. This is just a standard sized card base. I'm just gonna give this a nice crease with my bone folder. This will come pre-scored um, in your kit for you. Then you've got these three strips and I wanna put them on the card like this. So I'm just going to lay them down kind of get them placed about where I want them to go and then I'll adhere these down. Okay, I think that spacing looks pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and start adhering these strips down. All right, so I've got those all adhered down. So now what I can do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive onto my vase. And I'm just leaving the bottom piece clear of adhesive because I want the vase to kind of hang off a little bit. I really liked um, how that looked on this layer to have it hanging off. I thought it added some extra interest. So I'm gonna press that down right there. Then we can add some dimensionals onto the back of this piece. And then I'll just add this on to the center of my card. So let's see, I'll put this, oh, right about there looks good. Give it a press. All right, and then lastly, I'm just gonna add some of these rhinestones. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one here, sort of under my hello. And then I'll put another one there. And then one more right here. Okay, there we go. That finishes up card number one, quick and easy. All right, so I've got my pieces here for card number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Pacific Point card base. I'm just going to fold this over, give that a nice crease with my bone folder. Again, this is just a standard sized card. Then I'm gonna bring back my piercing mat and I'm gonna bring in my Pacific Point ink pad and we're gonna use that same uh, filler image that we used on the flowers in the vase on card number one. And we're gonna just create a little background, a little tone on tone background stamping here. And I'm gonna do it at a diagonal coming in from the right hand corner of the card and I'm just rotating my stamp around each time just to get a little more variation in the um, stamping here. I'm just going to go all the way across I'm trying to do this one handed. And I'm going to stamp one more time right there. Okay, that looks good. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this piece of vellum that I've already die cut using one of the um, layering circle framelits. I've done that for you. I've got my Knight of Navy ink here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment, hoping your day blooms with happiness. Um, it takes a little bit of time for this to dry on the vellum. So I wanna go ahead and stamp it um, kind of up high, right about here. And if it's not dry by the time I want to start assembling the card, I'm just gonna hit it with my heat tool and whoop, 
and speed up the process. Okay, all right, so next I've got this little piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. This is like my all-time new favorite color by Stampin' Up. I'm obsessed with this color. I'm gonna bring in all of the little decorative vases that come in the stamp set. So I'm bringing in these three uh, images right here, and we're gonna stamp these tone on tone onto our piece of Coastal Cabana. So what you wanna do is, you wanna stamp all of these images upside down so that it's easier to punch them out because we're gonna punch all of these. But I'm gonna start by, let's see, I'm gonna put this, this one over here on the right hand side of my cardstock. I'm gonna put this one on the left hand side and then I'm going to put this one in the center so right about there just like that and I don't really like how this one turned out I'm gonna stamp that one again so just bring in my chamois Stamp this one again. All right, so I'm going to ink that one up again and stamp that right there upside down. Okay, that's better. All right, so I've got my punch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch out the vase that's on the right hand side first. So it's going to be important that you follow this order for it to work. So there's my first vase. Okay. Then I'm going to put this piece over here onto the right and punch out this little vase. This more curvy one. Okay, so I've got that vase. And then you want to punch out the short one in the center. Okay, there we go. And that way you're able to get all three out of that one piece of cardstock. Then you've got two more pieces of cardstock. So you've got a piece of powder pink and a piece of melon mambo. So I'm gonna take this piece of uh, powder pink and I wanna get just a couple of these little tulips. So I'm punching out two of the little tulip shapes well <laughs> oh there it is so there's two in the powder pink and then I need one more I'm gonna do this one in melon mambo you can decide how you want to do it you could do it whichever colors you want you could even do a vase out of one of these instead it's up to you okay and now we can start building up this card so I'm just gonna bring in my card base here and you've got this piece of designer series paper from that um, Garden Impressions designer series paper. This piece is actually longer than you need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere this and then I will cut off, hmm, do I want it to go this way? I'll do it this way. And then I'm gonna cut off the overhang. So I think I'm gonna put this, yeah, right about here, about a quarter of an inch, maybe slightly more, three, three quarters of an inch from the bottom and then I'll just cut this extra off. Okay, so I've got that all um, adhered down and that excess cut off. And I'm bringing this other piece of designer series paper here from uh, that same designer series paper stack. You can do whichever side you want. I'm gonna use this side right here and I've got my banner triple punch. I'm gonna go ahead and slip this in. You could do this with your scissors if you don't have the banner triple punch. I'm just giving that a little fishtail end and this also is longer than you need. You can decide how far out you want it to go on the front of your card. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here and I'm going to put this down but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and add down my piece of vellum. I did uh, hit this with the heat tool so that it could dry just a little bit faster. And I think I wanna put this, mm, I think I'm gonna put it right about there. 
and then that'll help me decide where I want to put this. I think I want it right about here because I want it to cover up. I don't want any of that vellum to show through the bottom. So I'll just put that there. And again, I'm going to cut off this little bit of overhang. Okay, there we go. Now I can go ahead and add each one of my vases down. So let's see. I'm going to use the bottom of that piece of designer pap uh, paper as my guide. I'll put that one there. And then that one there. Yep, looks good to me. So I'll go ahead and add each one of these down. Then I've got each one of my little um, powder pink tulips here. I'm just going to kind of put these hanging off a little bit. You can put these however you would like. This is just kind of what I'm doing with these. Then with this Melon Mambo one, I'm gonna go ahead and use a mini dimensional on the back of this one and pop that up in the center just like that and then lastly I'm going to bring in my little rhinestones and just add these on to the front of the card I'm going to do three of these okay just like that and there we go that finishes up card number two. Isn't that so much fun? I love the pop of color, bringing uh, that coastal cabana in. Really fun card and that nice sparkle from those rhinestones. So pretty. All right, so the last card in the kit. So um, for this last card, you've got a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. This will come pre-scored for you. So what I've done is I've taken the cardstock, I put it into my Stampin' Trimmer, and I scored this end at two and an eighth of an inch. Then I rotated my cardstock around, and then I scored this end at two and one eighth of an inch. So then when you fold this in and give it a nice tight crease, that's going to give you um, your gatefold and then these two pieces will line up Okay, just like that that gives you your gatefold. Okay, so now you've got some panels We're gonna go ahead and put these panels together. So you've got some of the new mango melody cardstock Isn't this color so bright and so fun? I love it. So we're just gonna layer these two. Where'd my fast fuse go? There we go. We're just gonna layer these pieces of uh, designer paper onto this Mango Melody cardstock. I love this vibrant color. So fun. And it just gives you a nice little eighth of an inch border um, around it, the piece of designer paper. Okay, and then these two panels are going to layer just like this, center those up top to bottom, left to right. They're gonna layer onto the front of our uh, gatefold, just like that. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive here and center this up. Okay, right about there. Then I'll do the same with this panel. All right, there we go. So I'm bringing back my piercing mat and my scratch paper here, and I'm gonna bring in this die cut circle. We're gonna do some stamping on this piece first. So I'm gonna bring in my Calypso Coral um, ink pad here, and then I've got these two images, this little orchid image. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up uh, full strength in Calypso Coral. And I am going to stamp this towards the right hand side of my circle. Oh, right about here. Okay, just like that. Then I'll go ahead and stamp the filler image. I'm gonna stamp that off and then I will stamp it on and fill in 
my flower. Perfect. Okay, then I've got my Knight of Navy ink pad here. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the word thanks. I want to stamp that off to the left. I guess I'll stamp it right about here. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in my Coastal Cabana ink pad, my favorite color, and I'm gonna bring in that um, strip of Whisper White that comes in the kit. We're gonna stamp the uh, outline image for this vase right here. Remember to stamp it upside down to make it easy to punch out, but we're gonna stamp that in Night of Navy. Then we're gonna stamp the filler image for that little vase in Coastal Cabana. This is going to give us our water, so I'm just going to stamp that off. Actually, let me do that one more time. Ink that up. Stamp that off. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp it down. Perfect. Love that color. Then we're going to bring in our orchid, and we're going to ink that up again in the Calypso Coral. And I want to get that stem in the vase so that um, when we punch this out, it's not like the orchid's just suspended in air somehow, but not in the water. So we're gonna punch this out. Okay, and then actually before we punch out this vase, uh, there's gonna be a Whisper White piece included in your kit for the inside of this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of stamping on this piece. So I'm gonna bring in that little scallop piece that comes in the stamp set. And I'm gonna use this like a little shelf piece and I want it to be off to the left. So I'm just inking that up. I'm gonna put it off to the left, kind of down here. And I don't want it to go all the way across the card. I actually just want it to stop right there. Isn't that so cute? Then I'm gonna come in with this tall, slender little flower, and I'm gonna ink this up in Coastal Cabana. Let me just test stamp it. Okay, that's pretty. So I'm gonna ink that up in the Coastal Cabana. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that right about here. Okay, then I'm gonna bring in the little um, flower filler image there. I'm going to stamp that off in Coastal Cabana and then line that up and stamp it right onto those little flowers. Oh, that is so pretty, I love it. Then I'm gonna bring in the little decorative um, vase here, the curvy one, and I'm gonna ink that up in Night of Navy, and I am going to stamp that right over top of my little flowers there. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is stunning. It is so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. Wow, I love it. I love it. And then you've still got plenty of room to put a sentiment. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my punch and I'm gonna punch this vase out. Just line that up. Punch that piece out. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add this piece to the inside of the card. And actually, it looks like my um, ink isn't dry yet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these two pieces together first, give my um, Knight of Navy a chance to finish drying. So I'll go ahead and add this to my Coastal Cabana Scallop Circle. Put that right there, okay? And then you're gonna wanna line up the stem that's in your vase with the stem on your flower because you've got a little piece of that stem showing. You could snip it off if you want to, but you wanna just kind of line those up. And I do want my vase to hang off. I just really love how that looks, having it hanging off of the edge. So I'm just gonna line this up straight. I think that looks pretty good. It's hanging off, that's perfect. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and put dimensionals onto the back of this piece. And you just want to make sure your dimensionals are on the right-hand side so that it doesn't interfere with your uh, gatefold card being able to open up like it's supposed to. So I'm just gonna put three. Two would actually be enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and do three. 
Okay, right there. So then I think that should be good. I'm gonna carefully add some adhesive onto this piece. Okay, and I'll just stick that into the middle here of my card. Isn't that so much fun? I love it. So pretty. Look at that. So pretty. <laughs> Such a pretty card. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you want to take your, um, you've got some Calypso Coral um, ribbon here, and you want to take this and wrap it around. I want it kind of towards the lower portion of the uh, card. So just like that, I think that's about where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and thought I put it on wrong. Take my backings off of my dimensionals. And, oopsies, let me get this right here. I'm trying to keep my ribbon straight. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add this on towards the right hand side of the card. So right about there, I think looks good. And then it looks like that actually lines up perfectly with one of my dimensionals. So that's gonna help that ribbon stay attached even when you um, untie it. And then when it opens up, isn't that such a cool card? I love that, I think it's so much fun. And you've got plenty of room to write your sentiment. Okay, let's go ahead and tie this in a bow. I'm gonna leave the ends kind of long as well so that whoever I give this card to can tie it back up after they untie it. You don't want it to be the ends to be so short that they can't close it back up. So I'm gonna tie it upside down. Just helps me make a bow a little bit easier or a little bit better. Okay, there we go. And then now I can just kind of get it exactly how I want it. Okay, so got my ribbon closure there. All right, so now the last step to this card is to add our rhinestones. Now you've actually got four left. You could add one to the inside. Well, I don't know. Or you could just do the three and it's up to you. Whoops. Put that one right there. I think I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop there. Okay, and there we go. Isn't that so much fun? I love this card. Such a fun card. So that finishes up card number three. All right, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed my varied vases free card kit. I love these cards. I think they are so much fun and I was just so excited to do a fun fold card. I've never done one before and I just thought that was the cool the coolest thing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and remember all you have to do to receive your free project kit or card kit in the mail from me is simply place a minimum $40 order in my online Stampin' Up! store. Uh, I've got direct links to my store just below the video in the description notes. Be sure uh, your order is $40 before tax and shipping and make sure that you use the host code that I've got right here on the screen. Just don't use that code if your order is $150 or more because you will earn Stampin' Rewards. I wanna make sure that you receive them and you will still qualify to receive this free card kit in the mail from me. And just remember, this kit is only available until July the 15th, 2018. So your order has to be in by then and then kits will ship on July the 16th, 2018. So thanks again for joining me today, you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and I will be back again with you very soon. Bye now.